Hi everyone, in this video we are going to configure Windows Server to act as an NFS share so that we can access that from vSphere. I'm going to start off by creating a folder. I'm going to navigate to the E drive and I'm going to create here a new folder. We'll name that NFS data. Be careful with case here because it is case sensitive coming from the vSphere side. And that's all we need to do for that part. Next thing we need to do is add NFS sharing services. Going to add a role. Again, this is part of file and storage services. We'll expand these out. And if I scroll down here a bit, we'll see server for NFS. I'll simply select that, add the management feature, click next, next, and install. And we'll give this a second to finish the installation. Okay, that's finished. We can close this out. Next thing we need to do is actually create the NFS share. I'm going to go to file and storage services, select shares, and I will right click and say that we want a new share. We're going to specify that this will be an NFS share with Quick, and go next. We need to specify what folder we're going to share out. So I'll do a custom path. This will be the folder that we created a little bit earlier in the video. Click next. The share name is fine as it is. We'll click next. On authentication, we're going to say no server authentication, and we're also going to enable unmapped user access. We'll click next. Permission we do have to create, so we're going to add a permission. This is going to be for all machines. The language is going to be big five. Share permissions are going to be read write, and we do have to allow root access. This is something that's not great. It basically means that we're going to be using the root user to connect in and that is not controlled, but that's the way that it works. We'll add that in, click next. We do not need to do anything from a permissions perspective here. Click next and create. And it's that quick. Our folder is now shared out using NFS and we're done. That's a wrap for the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you and we'll see you next time.